It's about to be that time of year again, the time when we see caterpillars everywhere. Yeah, one expert is predicting that we may see more caterpillars this summer than last. And Eleanor Tabone has the details on why more of those horrible <laughs> stinging creatures are going to be back this year. New Orleanians, you know what I'm talking about when I say the buck moth caterpillar. We're going to see more than usual. Buck moth caterpillars will start emerging from their eggs this month. This year, they're going to be amping up their presence. In December, when the adult buck moth is flying around, normally if we see a lot of them, and I noticed a lot this past winter, it means they're going to be a healthy number of caterpillars. Zach Lemon with Audubon Insectarium predicts we're going to see more of these spiky fellas. He says environmental factors play a big role in the insects' numbers. Buck moths seem to be fairly resistant to weather extremes. You know, we had a pretty big drought this past year. Uh, and yet, as I said, I certainly saw a, a, an appreciable number of the adult moths. The spiny insects live in the New Orleans staple, the live oak tree. But these guys aren't picky when it comes to dinner time. The caterpillar is what we call a generalist and will feed on something in the neighborhood of 50 different species of plants, both native, like live oaks, and exotic, both trees and shrubs. Now, if you see the caterpillars in your yard and they do eat away at your plants, don't worry, those leaves will grow back. Maybe just give them a little extra love and care. Zach suggests wearing gardening gloves when working in the yard because the caterpillars will sting you. Your basic first aid is going to be trying to use some clear tape to gently remove any spines that you might not see that might still be on the skin putting ice on the site, and if you need it, Benadryl. Eleanor Tabone, WWL, Louisiana.